when we were invited after we did the Raja course by Raja Alberto and Margarita to help stimulate the next phase of development, Meru, we just came in as we do to any meeting, whether it's uh, a meeting with consciousness consultants or global council, and we we listen. And, and we listened uh, initially for a few months and then were invited to take up a part of the master plan. And we quickly saw, Linda and I, as we rowed the boat together, that where we could add most value to where there's the lowest hanging fruit. And it's, it, it amazes me how in our worldwide movement, there are different people and different circumstances that come together that almost light a passion for doing something that's just latent, potentially sitting there waiting for somebody to come and say, yes, I'll do that. And so when I saw that Rudy Gilman was already donating for activity, I connected with him. He was one of the first of the very generous donors I connected with. And he said to me, look, I, my role is to help things to move forward. I go and raise funds. I need somebody who's experienced in development who can help this move forward. And I would like to buy an apartment if you can make this happen. But ultimately, I'd like to see the tower municipality go up. So I like this. We began to culture and connect with the friends. I call them the friends of Meru now. And we, we have ended up selling two thirds of the apartment building like this by talking to those people who are interested and laying their fears that something would never happen and saying it will happen, having the right structures in place. And, and, and under the umbrella of Meru Development Corporation, we, over the last two years, working with a phenomenal team. And I must say that Casper Jung, as the next generation CEO, has been pivotal to all this and bridging between the elders, the wiser elders who have got all the knowledge and have, have the legacy at Meru and the next generation who want to bring in this, this new life force into Meru uh, has been really uh, this two-pronged approach. One, putting up buildings, but secondly, ensuring that those bridges are built that the culture between the next generation and the, and the wiser generation are brought together and that what is taken for granted sometimes is enlivened as a new potential at, at Meru. So with this, we then found that there, with the, the next generation needed an operational building and, and also there were all these residences that, that were, were living off campus that needed to, to come in every day and that wasn't optimal. So we have now also a residence building that will house at least 60 to 70 of these residents. And this is a, a substantial project, which for some is daunting because they haven't done it before. Uh, I do uh, have that experience over my three decades of development, that scale of, of development. We're talking about you know, over 20 million euros it's going to take a couple of years and three buildings going up at once with lots of different multidisciplinary professionals working together. And we all this will establish a, a team, a culture, a next generation that can do more and also establish the friends of Meru, starting with Rudy Gilman. And then you have Ancho, who lives nearby, who's also very good friend of, of Mary wants to see things happen and others and when we've when we've had open houses where we've invited others who have been sitting on the fence to come and see what Meru is becoming not what they had in their minds of what Meru was over the last 10 years where there have been different reasons for the project to slow down or where we couldn't get things done but to come and see that things are being done and the, 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 the train has moved and even now, if you go to campus, you can see that there are what I call Tonka toys on site, 
where the infrastructure is going in. And my daily task is really to be connected to Casper and his team to go to the next stage, which is to sign a contract with our chosen contractor builder. And we're, we're looking for that construction above ground, if you like, beyond the, the, the infrastructure to begin just after Guru Purmana this year in July. So we have a few weeks now to finalize contract cross the T's and dot the I's. And it's a very, very exciting time to be involved with this project at Meru. As I said, it's not just the buildings, it's how we're building relationships and, and, a, and, a, and a culture that's relevant to today. And to see the next generation rise gives Linda and I just so much pleasure to see how they care, how they want to they win. And they really care for for everything that Maharishi left for us, especially the knowledge that's, that's housed there, and to get the message out, to get the message out, which we're doing now through through you, Susie, and through the communications department, to so let the world know what Mero is becoming. And on the success of this, Maharaj is seeing that, yes, there's success here, there's success, so what can we do next? And he's already asked this team to put their attention on a world-class wellness resort, which would be in a building right next to Maharishi's East Palace. And it would be a 35,000 square foot wellness resort that will bridge, again, the outside world, Friends of Meru. It will also be very commercial. It will generate revenue, much needed revenue for Meru and that bridge again between the friends at the in the apartment building, bringing in skills and ideas, and and much needed revenue and resource into Meru, bridging that with regular guests and can come on a on a spiritual pilgrimage to a wellness resort, and at the same time, whoever touches us, Linda and I, because you know there's there's so much bandwidth, but then there are certain voices and and individuals that touch our heart. So R Raja Paul and Susie Potter, they are co-Rajas of Cyprus with us. And Raja Paul and Susie have encouraged us to just get on with what we're doing in, in Cyprus. And on the back of that, as Linda G just described earlier, uh, when we were asked how we can touch Yemen in, in, a, in a more <clears throat> profound way, there is the air conditioning effect that you just mentioned, but there's also, we just felt that as Meru was in the past, Meru will be in the future as it was before. So we, we plucked a bit of the future out of Meru's success and we donated a glass house, which we've used, we've had meetings there. And so the peace gardens are coming to life. And I'd also like to thank, again, there, this is what's really encouraging about the movement is how people just appear as if out of nowhere and want to help. And the uh, Raja of Japan, Raja Suzuki-san, he's often donated to Yemen. And that touches our heart to see that there are people that are not just thinking about their own places or domains, they're thinking about each other. And this worldwide movement of ours, you know, building bridges, it has to be the theme for us for 2023 and 24. It's all about building bridges. Thank you, Rajandres. That's deeply touching. And and each word is well balanced, as always. You speak with both of your voices. I hear Linda with you. And I think, apart from the fact that you're doing great things in your domains, what you're doing here at Miru is literally making the impossible possible because Mahashi's legacy here could just melt away, you know, and we just needed somebody who comes in or people who come in with your, both your expertise, your fresh eyes and your alertness as to how absolutely precious this campus is. It's not to be 
disregarded. It has a place. Mahashi chose it in the land of wholeness. There's a tremendous energy here. It's the hub for the whole world, the silent hub. And just very gently bringing in a little taste of the world on the the corner of Agni, you could say, <laughs> on the southeast corner where the luxury buildings will be, is going to bring a certain engine and a certain strength. We know that. And the people who come here are coming here because they want to be aligned with the silence and wholeness that is here. And they respect that. So I don't know how to thank you both. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gift beyond... Maybe in a few hundred years' time, people will realize just how huge this gift is that you, your attention is bringing, is um, waking up and your connectedness and your networking is just pulling it all together. It's really remarkable. And I think all, all of our great guests connected probably applaud you at this moment and feel this value, this gift. Just one practical little question. Are there any apartments left, any of the luxury apartments left for sale? There are indeed. There are luxury apartments left. I would say anybody that's interested in these apartments, when is the kind of too late date? Well, there isn't one really because we do have, I would say, a third of the apartments. So we have about 10. There are double that number of people who are sitting on the fence waiting for construction to actually start in earnest or they're in different stages of selling either shares or selling something that will allow them to move there so we feel that we will probably over, be oversubscribed but with those who are interested i would say once you hear that construction has started that would be the time which would be july time to get in touch with us uh, and the apartment building is very special and it has attracted very special i would call them neighbors now and they are uh, happy for us to share who they are in fact daria has created some slides which you can share with susie that show who the neighbors are which apartment they've got and what's available and as i said there is a a list of people who are waiting for circumstances to actually take some of the remaining apartments. My, my experience is that it's the people that are coming, as you said, uh, Susie, they know what Meru is about. They want to spend quality life there. They want to have time there, whether it's a good decade or more of their time, full time, maybe part time for some of the other years. And there's this opportunity for revenue income because when the courses are on, and especially Guru Purmana, that that could be, be very good return on investment. So there are all these different ideas for the remaining apartments. But the main thing is, uh, my interviewing is that people have a calling or they know it's for them. And so, yes, if if the heart's calling or there's a, or there's something that needs to be moved if through curiosity about the apartment building, again, like Linda G said, we you, we'll have our details on, on screen too. You can contact us directly or you can contact the office. Daria uh, heads that up too. So, yes, I'd say yes uh, it, 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 in a very bold way, but with caution, don't leave it too long because I don't think there are going to be many left uh, after the autumn of 2023. Beautiful. I hope that answers your question. That sure does. And the main theme that we can close in our hearts is to stay connected. And this is what Raja Andres and Linda are offering us, is that, that connectedness. So I thank you both for taking time to be with us, to offer your treasures, and let's um, enjoy them ripen and blossom as the future unfolds. So thank you again, and Jay Gurudev. Jay Gurudev. Jay Gurudev. Jay Gurudev. <laughs>